Hi guys, I'm back with another science lesson for you guys this morning. Have you ever heard of citric acid? It's in a lot of cleaners and it can, if used improperly, harm your lungs. It can cause major damage to your eyes. It can cause minor burns on your skin. And there's another acid. It's called hydrochloric acid. Now hydrochloric acid is in a lot of cleaners. It can cause severe burns on your skin. It could cause blindness. It can severely damage your lungs. It's what's called corrosive, meaning it can eat all the way through metal. Both of these acids, if used improperly and combined with the right things, can literally cause explosions. Now, what if I told you I had both of those acids on me right now? Citric acid is also known as vitamin C. And I don't know about you, but my kids eat oranges almost every day. But what about hydrochloric acid? Well, hydrochloric acid is actually in your stomach and it's necessary for your body to break down and process its food. Now, isn't that interesting that you have these two acids that can cause severe damage when used improperly. As a matter of fact, hydrochloric acid, if you're doing things with that, it's recommended that you wear special boots, special gloves, a full protective suit, eye protection, my glasses wouldn't be enough, and a respirator. So something you wear that filters all the toxins out of the air you're breathing but it's something that's naturally in our bodies all the time. Vitamin C keeps us healthy, keeps us from being sick. John Wesley, who's the founder of Methodism, which is how we practice the way we follow God, had three rules. Do no harm, do good, stay in love with God. Now, history is full of Christians trying to do the right thing for the wrong reason. And we could get into big discussions about that. But when we think about being Christian, we've had this discussion before. You don't go out on the playground and yell at your friends and say, believe in God, do it now. No. We talk about being kind and being our best selves and letting people see that that's God working through us. So just like citric acid or vitamin C and hydrochloric acid or the way we digest our food can be harmful if used improperly, we have to do our best to listen to the people around us who help guide us and teach us and to read our Bible and to learn about how God is talking to us, to be calm and quiet and listen to what God wants us to hear so we can be our best selves, so we can follow John Wesley's advice and we can do no harm and we can do good and we can stay in love with God. Will you guys pray with me? Thank you for giving us the Holy Spirit, for giving us the Bible, for giving us loving adults who care for us and guide us so that we can always be our best selves and help remind us to show the people around us your love through our actions. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you guys.